Hello everybody, we are going to look at some magnetic field uh, results. I have here a coil of wire, it's got four loops of wire, and I've got a big power supply hooked up that can supply a voltage and a current, uh, and I've got a couple of sensors. I've got a current sensor so I can measure how much current. That's this red one at the top, and I'm going to go ahead and zero that out. And then I have a magnetic field sensor at the bottom, and that's this funky thing right here, it has a little white dot and the magnetic field should be traveling right through that dot. Uh, and so we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and I'm gonna collect some data here, or at least show you how the data was collected for the investigation you're gonna do. Um, there are a couple things that we say could affect the magnetic field from a current carrying wire from a long straight one. Um, certainly the more loops there are, the more uh, pronounced the magnetic field will be. The bigger the current is, the bigger the magnetic field, and the closer you are to the wire. And so what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna turn on some voltage and current here. So I'm gonna start with about two amps of current, and I want to, I'm gonna turn off the power supply for now because I don't want any magnetic field, and I'm gonna measure um, how the magnetic field is affected by moving away from this. So I'm going to kind of set it up here. Remember the magnetic field curls around the wire. So if my thumb goes in the direction of that, my finger is pointing out at the camera should be the magnetic field direction. So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting my magnetic field sensor here close to the wire. And I'm going to zero out my magnetic field because I don't want to be measuring anything. And I'm going to turn on my uh, thing and you can't probably can't see it in the video, but we are about 0.049, about 0.05 millitesla right here. And if I move it a little bit further away, 0 0.03, 0 0.02, and at that point I've dropped off to something beyond that. So it gets weaker as you get further away and stronger as you get closer, right? Which is kind of what we would expect. And so you're going to look at those results. Uh, as well. And so the, the next thing I want to do is I want to hold it in this position where I had it and I'm going to turn down the current. So I start with a uh, high current of about 2 amps and we know that this should be proportional to the current so we can turn down the voltage a little bit. We got that down and as we do drop down to about 1 amp of current. We're now down to 0.02 micro or millitesla as we drop it down even further. Right, we see that as the current goes down, so too does the magnetic field. Uh, uh, now I have a slinky here set up, which is a big coil. So this is a solenoid. And what we're going to investigate here is does the amount of loops, as long as they're all spread out evenly, affect the magnetic field inside of this? And so our method's going to be a little bit different than before, uh, but I have about two amps of current going through here. So I'm going to start by turning off my power, and this is the full selection of loops, the entire slinky. There's a red wire connected over here and the black wire connected over here to the power supply, sending two amps of current through it. And I'm going to put my magnetic field probe, which should measure the magnetic field going along the slinky, uh, right kind of in the middle here. And I'm gonna set it right in the middle and point it that way. And my tape came loose. That's what I get for using easy to remove tape. And the goal here is to measure the magnetic field first, to zero it out when nothing's on. Then I'm going to turn on my current, and I get at about 2 amps here in the middle with all of the loops, 0 0.24 to 0.25 millitesla. So I'm going to turn that back off. I'm going to, say, bring this clip down to the middle. The spacing of the loops is still the same, but now I'm only using about half of them. I'm going to stick my magnetic field sensor in the middle again. Uh, just as I did before, I'm going to zero it out because I don't want the Earth's magnetic field affecting my results. And I'll turn on the field, and I get about you know, 0.42 millitesla. Okay, I can turn that off again. Maybe bring this a little bit even closer, so a smaller section, but again, the spacing's the same. I'm going to put my magnetic field sensor in the middle and try to make this work without completely coming undone. And once again, I'll zero out my magnetic field sensor there, and then turn on my power. 
and again about 0.4 millitesla, a little bit lower, 0.3 something, and now my slinky has collapsed. But that's the process we're doing for that part of the experiment.